Hello chat, what are we going to be doing today? Today we're going to be making an agent that will send a tweet from our Twitter accounts if we don't apply to enough jobs every day. So how we're going to be tracking these job applications is through Gmail. I'm going to be asking Zoe to look through all my emails, see how many jobs I apply to. If I don't apply to maybe 5 to 10-ish jobs every day, it's going to look through my email again find something distracting, find something embarrassing, and it's going to tweet it on my main account. And I have a good amount of Twitter followers, so I don't really want it to do that. Why I'm doing this, I don't know, just be more accountable, I guess. So we have a new Zoe workspace right here. I have complete setup instructions if you want to do this yourself. But what you're going to need is a Zoe computer as well as an X developer account. Anyone that has a Twitter account can easily set up the Twitter APIs. It might be helpful to look at some documentation for this, but the basics are having API key, API secret key, and access token. It's pretty easy to use, so I won't be going over it. I'm going to show you guys how to integrate your Gmail with Zoe. When you're at your workspace, you want to go right here, settings, integrations, ask Zoe over email. Um, I can even allow Zoe to send emails from my account, but for this purpose, we're only allowing it to read. Type in your email address and it will automatically do it. There's also these other integrations like Gmail, Gcal. So when I go here, I'm going to go to a new chat. Okay, here is my prompt. So build a job search accountability system. We're going to be checking my Gmail every day for emails with keywords and application. Apply. I'm going to do 10 per day. I can change this. For disclaimer, I did not apply to any jobs. So we're going to be sending a tweet at the end of this video. Um, to my email for embarrassing non-job emails like shopping, rejection emails. That's going to be kind of sad. I have not looked at my email in a minute, so I have no idea what it's going to send. And I post a shame tweet in chaotic. Okay, I asked I asked them to make this prompt for me. I just wanted it to be like Gen Z style to make it actually seem like it was me tweeting it. Um, and then we're gonna be saving everything to a file called procrastination finds. And lastly, we're gonna be running this every night at 9 p.m. You know, we don't get a reminder. We just have to apply to jobs. Okay, so our Zoe is done. Let's see what it did. Created Python script to handle all the logic. Um, this is just a first run, so we're gonna see how it works. Let's see. Can you try to look at my Gmail right now? Try sending a tweet if I didn't apply. It's looking through my emails. So it found that like I applied to jobs with Simple Fee, the like US Bank, Google, etc. Um, but I didn't apply to any of them. So and then I tried generating an example tweet. Let's see what it says. Job applications today, literally zero. Simplify sending me matches, but I'm too cooked to even click apply for real. The demons won today, we are not making it out. Okay, bro. So now I'm going to try to actually send the tweet out. You're going to want to set up your own developer account on X and then put in the API key secret tokens. You might not want to copy and paste them directly into Zoe yourself into the chat. So you can ask Zoe for the correct file locations, like just to make sure nothing gets leaked as well. Okay, so it did actually send the tweet out and here's a screenshot showing that it actually does on my Twitter account with 8 point whatever followers. Um, yeah, I'm de I deleted that right after I got it. Yeah, so it actually worked. You know, I think another cool idea would to be is change up the, the time every day. So here is more about the agent and so. Yeah, so it says every day at 9 p.m. next run in about two hours. It's currently 7. Maybe we can even edit the schedule. Custom, interval. Maybe even like every 172 minutes to, to keep it on your toes. But if you wanted to just check right away, you also don't need to wait every two hours. You can just go ahead and run this here. It gives a very detailed prompt so you don't need to like copy and paste it every time. If you want to run it for your friends as well, I guess. But yeah, that's an example of one of the silly things that you can do with so with automation, the Gmail integrations, and also kind of making your life better. I don't know if it's making your life better or worse, but if you have any questions or any new ideas, feel free to let me know. And, and stay tuned for maybe some more stupid accountability tweets.